Hello friends, uh, in this lecture I am going to discuss that uh, how uh, does the slope of uh, IS curve going to decide the effectiveness of monetary policy. We will also discuss that it is not merely the slope of IS curve which is going to decide the effectiveness of monetary policy but it is also the slope of LM curve which is going to decide the effectiveness of uh, monetary policy, right? Uh, so let us take first the case of slope of IS curve and effectiveness of monetary policy. Then we'll come to discuss the slope of LM curve and the effectiveness of monetary policy, right? So uh, let me take here a case we'll call, yeah. So we have here interest rate and income, right? Uh, we have got IS curve, which is steeper, right? Now given this IS curve, which is steeper, right? Let us see how effective your monetary policy is going to be. And when we want to show the effectiveness of monetary policy, that we can show through shifting the LM curve because it is the monetary policy which affects the location of LM curve, right? So let us say we have got normal sloping uh, LM curve, right? So this is your LM curve, right? So the equilibrium level of income is at, uh, what do you call, E0 that gives us y not equilibrium income and i not equilibrium interest rate right now suppose central bank follows expansionary monetary policy right central bank follows expansionary monetary policy what will happen lmq will shift rightward and how much will be the shift of rightward uh, location of the LM curve, it will be change in real money supply divided by the value of K, right? So the horizontal shift of LM curve is to the extent of delta M by P upon K, right? K is the responsiveness of money demand to income, right? So what happens? LM curve shifts rightward because Central bank has follows has followed what expansionary monetary policy, right? And that leads to LM curve shifting rightward. You get LM prime. So LM prime is new LM curve that has come here because of expansionary monetary policy. What is expansionary monetary policy? Raising the money supply in the economy. As in recent time, the central bank has announced many measures to increase the money supply to counter. The recessionary effect, right, or slowdown effect uh, on GDP of the uh, what you call global pandemic problem of uh, COVID-19, right? So what happens? The equilibrium point shifts. Where does equilibrium point shifts? Equilibrium point shifts from E0 to E1. Assuming that the government does not raise any expenditure and IS curve remains fixed. So what do we have? We we get interest rate to be I1 and what do you call income increase is only Y1, right? So what has happened? Income has increased from Y0 to Y1. So how much monetary policy is effective given this is steeper IS curve? only y not y1 when uh, is curve would be steeper you know that two values alpha g and b determine the slope of is curve right if the value of alpha g is smaller the slope of is curve is steeper if the value of b is smaller the slope of is curve is steeper right so in case if investment itself is less responsive less responsive to 
interest rate, the IS curve would be steeper or either tax rate is very high or marginal propensity to consume is lower, that also would lead to IS curve to be steeper, right? And in that scenario, even though there is more rise in money supply, but rise in income is, is smaller, right? On the other hand, if we take another IS curve, right, which is flatter, right? And let us say that IS curve is shown here by uh, red line, okay? So I am drawing this. IS prime, which is the uh, flatter IS curve, and why IS curve has become flatter? It has become flatter either because of rise in sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate, number one, or due to rise in alpha G, that is your multiplier, which has increased either because of rise in MPC or falling tax rate, right? Now, when you have this IS curve, which is IS prime, given here by red line, the same increase in money supply by the central bank leads to equilibrium point, which occurs at where? At E2. And that gives us what? That gives us rise in income, rise in income. to y2 from where from from what you call uh, y not okay so what you find and you get the interest rate at i2 so what do you find that when is curve is flatter right the same rise in money supply leads to what rise in income from y not to y2 right now, if I ask you that in which context either IS, black IS or IS prime, monetary policy is effective, definitely we will say that in case of IS prime, right, rise in income due to rise in money supply by delta M by P is Y not Y2, while in case of this IS line or IS curve, right, which is given here by black uh, line right the same rise in money supply by delta time by p leads to rise in income uh, from y0 to y1 right so what do we find that when is curve is flatter monetary policy is more effective and when is curve is steeper monetary policy is less effective right the logic is the simple right that when is curve is flatter could be because of higher value of b right when money supply rises right what happens interest rate falls and when interest rate falls investment being more responsive to change in interest rate investment rises more and therefore rise in income is higher right in case of black line black is curve right which is steeper because of lower value of b right the same rise in money supply leads to fall in interest rate right but then investment has become less responsive therefore even though interest rate falls right by the same magnitude as it happens previously but then the uh, uh, what you call rise in investment is very less and therefore rise in income is lesser right so it is so what do we find here that it is not merely the fault of uh, central bank right uh, in determinations of equilibrium level of income or how effective monetary policy would be or how effective the central bank would be, right? It is the macroeconomic conditions which are determining, right? The value of H and the value of alpha G is going to decide how effective your monetary policy will be in changing the level of output. I hope I have made clear that how does slope of IS curve affect the effectiveness of uh, monetary policy, right? We can take another case that it is not merely the slope of uh, IS curve, uh, which is going to decide the effectiveness of monetary policy, but also 
the slope of LM curve itself is going to decide how effective monetary policy would be and that we can see in the uh, uh, another diagram right so let us say we have here okay fine so we have here I know I uh, interest rate and here we have income right now uh, uh, we have what you call uh, IS curve right normal IS curve because we are not going to change the slope of IS curve now we will be changing the slope of LM curve right and then see how effective monetary policy is right so uh, let us take LM curve is very steeper right okay so this is what your LM curve is where is the equilibrium point equilibrium point is at E naught and that gives us I naught interest rate and uh, what do you call Y naught equilibrium income right now let us see if LM curve is steeper and what determines the uh, steepness of LM curve the two values K and uh, what you call H right K and H they determine the what you call uh, slope of slope of LM curve right high is the K uh, more steeper will be the value of uh, the slope of LM curve lower is the K less steeper will be the slope of LM curve right and H and slope of LM curve are inversely related right that if the value of H rises the slope of LM uh, what you call falls and if the value of H falls the slope of LM rises right so given either higher value of uh, 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 K or lower value of H we have got this LM curve right now suppose money supply rises what will happen money supply will shift to the extent of delta M by P upon K right so that is the horizontal shift of LM curve so what do we get? We get a new LM curve, right? LM prime, right? Now this LM prime, LM prime is parallel to what you call this LM curve, right? Now where is the uh, equilibrium point? The equilibrium point is at E1 and that gives us I1 interest rate and what you have rise in income to y1 okay so income has gone up from y0 to y1 so how effective uh, is the monetary policy it is effective only to the extent of y0 y1 right now suppose uh, we get uh, lm curve which is flatter right and let us assume that it passes through uh, E naught okay so let us call this LM uh, naught uh, as new LM curve right and this LM curve has become flatter either because of uh, fall in the value of K or because of rise in the value of sensitivity of uh, money demand to change in interest rate right now with uh, flatter LM curve if we follow if we follow uh, expansionary monetary policy right and we assume that there is same rise in money supply which happened in case when the value of uh, uh, K was higher or value of H was lower right so now when we have uh, what do you call money supply rising by delta M by K sorry delta M by P so your LM curves shifts horizontally by the magnitude of delta M by P upon K, right so the horizontal shift of this red line would be exactly the same which happened in the case of black LM line or LM curve right so we have uh, right this new uh, LM curve which is LM not prime right right this was uh, Price of money supply or expansionary monetary policy. Now, where is the equilibrium point? Equilibrium point is where this LM uh, not prime 
line intersects the IS curve, right? And it is here at point, what you call E2, right? E2. Now, how much income has gone up? Your interest rate is now I2 and income is Y2, right? Now, what has happened? Income has gone up. But how much income has gone up? Only Y0, Y2. So what do you find? That when the slope of LM curve is flatter, is smaller, is lower, then given slope of IS curve, monetary policy raises the equilibrium level of output by a smaller magnitude. That means monetary policy is less effective. But on the other hand, if LM curve is close to vertical or is steeper, then the same rise in money supply or same magnitude of expansionary monetary policy leads to rise in output by higher magnitude. Therefore, monetary policy is more effective. right? So it is not merely the slope of IS curve is going to decide the slope uh, effectiveness of monetary policy, but it is also the slope of LM curve itself is going to decide how effective will be monetary policy, right? And the factors which determine the slope of LM curve, right, are again uh, determined by macroeconomic uh, conditions in the economy, right? The kind of taste and preferences people have with respect to uh, 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 bonds and money, the kind of taste and preferences people have with respect to uh, what you call uh, uh, their consumption behavior, right? If they are consuming more of their income, right? And the banking system is a very primitive kind, then the value of K would be higher. On the other hand, if the banking system is very vibrant, wherever you want to withdraw cash, you can withdraw. Whenever you want to withdraw cash, you can withdraw. You can use uh, credit cards or debit cards as medium of transactions in that situation the value of k would be uh, is smaller so these are the parameters which affect the magnitude of k and uh, h which uh, ultimately determines the slope of lm curve right so this is what your discussions with respect to uh, effectiveness of uh, monetary policy in the context of different slope of is curve and lm curve i hope I have made it clear. This is your algebraic, uh, sorry, graphical discussions of the effectiveness of monetary policy given the different slope of IS and LM curves, right? Algebraically, also you can find out uh, the effectiveness of monetary policy on equilibrium level of income by looking at monetary policy multiplier, right? Because the monetary policy multiplier is also determined by the value of uh, alpha G, the value of sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate, that is uh, B, the value of H, the value of K. They all play a role in determinations of the magnitude of monetary policy multiplier and that in turn will decide the rise in income, right, due to rise in uh, due to rise in money supply right so this is what uh, so 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 the factors which are affecting the slope of is and lm curve the same factors affect the value of mpa and that is going to decide how much effective delta m by p would be in influencing the level of output right so this is the way uh, uh, this is the discussion which is make you which is going to make you stronger in understanding when and how monetary policy would be effective in an economy, whether it will be effective or whether it will not be effective. I hope it is clear to you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.